Hello, everyone. Again, I greet you with the words of the Lord Jesus. Shalom Aleichem. Peace be with you. I'm recording this late in the day on Sunday, Father's Day. Uh, again, I offer my wishes to all for whom it applies. Happy Father's Day. Uh, much as the case with Mother's Day, uh, Father's Day may not always be uh, the happiest day of observation for some people. I recognize that uh, some people have lost their fathers, and in some cases recently. Uh, some fathers and children don't have the best of relations, but if you can somehow glean uh, some good things out of the day, I hope you're able to do that. As I mentioned last week, what I wanted to do shortly after each Sunday worship within a day or so was go over one of the passages that we didn't have a chance to spend time preaching on on Sunday morning. This week, the lesson came out of Paul's letter to the Romans, leaves us uh, the lesson in Genesis and also the lesson in Matthew. Uh, there was something in that Genesis lesson that kept leaping out at me, and that was the the impact, the long impact of what had happened as a result of the story of Hagar, the mother of Ishmael, and Ishmael, the other son of Abraham. Uh, what a lasting impact that story had on the whole course of history. Uh, for those of you that uh, may not be familiar with uh, the story and the narrative, God had promised Abraham that Abraham would be uh, the father of a great nation through children born through Sarah. Sarah, at some point in time, became impatient with the promise, recognizing that she was uh, considered beyond childbearing years. She suggested to Abraham uh, that he have a child with her Egyptian slave, Hagar. Uh, they had a child together. The child was named Ishmael. Uh, but God made it clear that Ishmael was not to be the child of promise. Ishmael would be the a father of a great nation, but he would not be the heir to the promise that God had made to Abraham and Sarah. And then, of course, in the story we had last week, Sarah and Abraham conceive Isaac. And in the story we had today in chapter 17, or was it 18, that Isaac is now born, circumcised, celebration goes on, and there seems to be growing resentment and uh, tension between Hagar, the slave woman, and Sarah, her mistress. And eventually the tension carries over to the children. Uh, there is implication that Ishmael is having, uh, is mocking or having uh, some fun at Isaac's expense, and this is no longer to be tolerated by Sarah. And Sarah demands that Abraham expel the slave woman and her son, Abraham's son, Ishmael. And so that happens in today's lesson. They're driven out of the camp. Abraham gives them a skin of water. And uh, when the skin runs out, Hagar believes this is the end. But an angel comes to her and reminds her that uh, God will take care of them. And eventually Ishmael becomes the father of a great nation. Uh, the Arab peoples claim their descent from Ishmael. And, of course, Jewish people claim their descent from Isaac. And so all the tensions that have happened in that corner of the world for the last 4,000 years seem to stem from that story. Arabs believe that Ishmael was actually the, the child of promise. Jews believe that Isaac is the child of promise. And so there is that uh, resentment and tension that has gone on ever since that day. Uh, the sad part, the tragic part, is that Really, these are our cousins that are at war with one another, uh, the descendants of Abraham from two different branches. You know, I'm not going to go into the, to the claims and the, the truth about the claims, but uh, it is an interesting thing that the impact of today's story has carried with it baggage for 4,000 years, baggage that we still deal with in this world. Until we have a chance to meet again, Shalom Aleichem, peace be with you.